Antonio, Minotaro Noguera, and the Saints. The Saints, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. He uses a lot of karate techniques in his mixed martial arts, Mike. He's got a lot of power in his punches and kicks, and he's very elusive on his feet. He's got especially dangerous counter strikes, so his game plan may be keeping his distance and waiting for an opening. The Saints, ready to throw down and put on a show. Making his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. Noguera is possibly the most respected heavyweight submission artist of all time. The first Pride heavyweight champion, former UFC heavyweight champion. He is very much a living legend in this sport. Minotaro Noguera, ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa. Mike! The Saint! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This man is a former heavyweight champion of pride. Antonio Rodrigo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in your dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan, and we are ready to get this fight started. Are you ready to fight? The are Saints. Minotaro Noguera. Round one Come is on, underway. Go. Joe, the finals are here. We are about to crown the new UFC heavyweight champion. Both these guys were tested in their first and second rounds, Mike, but this is probably the toughest challenge that either of these guys will have faced right here. Good takedown defense. Using the cage to help him. Boom. And he's down. Great job on the reversal. Okay, he moves into the mount here. Work that wrist control. Oh, he got reversed. Moves into half guard. Nicely done. Transitions to the full mount. If he can flatten out his opponent, Joe, he can put in a choke here with both hooks in. Total control from the top position. Armbar. Good defense here. He's keeping the hands tight. Oh, he rolls out of it. Very nice escape. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Got the butterflies. He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Great submission defense. Switch to an armbar. Good transition. Oh, he switches to the triangle. He's pulling down on the head. He adjusts. 
Yes! It's over. Triangle choke. Victory tonight. We have a new UFC heavyweight champion. As soon as he adjusts with his hands, he gets it in deeper, then he pulls down the head, and his opponent is forced to tap. Here we see it one more time. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And now, the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Antonio Rodrigo. is the new UFC heavyweight champion.